Move now to Lansing, where we're following a historic day at the state capitol. Following the Democrats' big win, gaining majorities in both chambers, there are two groundbreaking picks when it comes to leadership. Grand Rapids State Senator Winnie Brinks becomes the first ever female majority leader. And in the state house, Detroit State Rep Joe Tate is expected to be the first ever black person in that position. Rod Maloney is in Lansing tonight with reaction to this. Rod, good evening. Well, yeah, good evening. Now, Kimberly, you know, it's expected still because the Democrats are in caucus right now, finishing up this business of picking their Senate, uh, make their House Speaker uh, and their leadership. But there also was the Senate. And, you know, today is one of those days where you don't see that every day. 75 degrees in Lansing in November, and then the Democrats having full control of the legislature. <laughs> A very busy and historic first session after Election Day in 2022 in the Michigan legislature. Here's a look at some of that history. 100 years ago, Eva McCall Hamilton of Grand Rapids served as the first woman in the state legislature, voting rights for women, her major issue. It took a century, but a successor from Grand Rapids will take over as Senate Majority Leader. She is Winnie Brinks. For me to be the second woman ever to serve in the Senate from Grand Rapids and the first majority leader who's a woman is just an incredible moment. Here's how the Democrats have fully flipped the legislature their way for the first time in 40 years. Currently in the Senate, the split is 22-16 in favor of the Republicans. The one to come in January will be 2018. In the House, the current makeup is 53 Democrats, 57 Republicans. Come January, it will be 56 Democrats, 54 Republicans. And expected to lead the Democrats as Speaker is Detroit's own State Representative Joe Tate. He was on the House floor today speaking with colleagues, not the media, though, in anticipation of this afternoon's vote. But his agenda is likely similar to Brinks's and the governor. It's going to be a bold agenda that puts the people of Michigan first, that helps build on the work that the governor has already started, building a strong economy, making sure this is a place that um, young people can create lives and uh, get jobs they can build those lives on. So the Democratic caucus, again, remains in meeting. They've been there for about two and a half hours now. Uh, and we're expected to see Joe Tate come out. We're expected to be able to speak with him. We'll certainly be checking in to see when he comes out and if we can, in fact, get him tonight. Reporting live in Lansing, Rod Maloney, back to you. Historic day in Lansing. Rod, the current legislature, though, are they finished for the year yet? No, they are not. There's going to be what they're calling here a lame, lame duck session. Lame, lame. That'll happen in December. It's not likely to yield much in the way of legislation. <laughs> That's why they call it lame, lame. <laughs> yeah, totally lame. Okay. Thank you, Rod.